Carpenter. Do you know what this dispatch says? Oh, yes, sir. That Whit Barrett, the famous war correspondent, is arriving here tomorrow, sir. Oh? You've been reading my dispatches again. <laughs> sir, I couldn't help it. I typed it up when it came into the radio. Hereafter, you type them up and don't read them. <laughs> Busybody, you. <laughs> You alert all hands. Notify all personnel. I want this base 100% ship shape. Yes, sir. And good luck to you, sir. Luck? Well, yes, sir. Every time Mr. Barrett devotes one of his newspaper columns to a man, he seems to get promoted. I couldn't care less. But in the last six months, sir, it's happened three times. Four. Stutz. <laughs> Admiral Brawley. Commander Simpson. You're forgetting that young hot rodder on the PT-109. He became a full lieutenant. <laughs> Hi, Captain. You want to see me? <laughs> I never want to see you, Mikhail, but it doesn't seem that I have any choice. We're having a very important visitor here tomorrow, Mikhail. You know who it is? Yes, sir. Whit Barrett. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I was looking over Carpy's shoulder when he was typing the dispatch. <laughs> I have no secrets in this Navy. Well, anyway, I want to show Mr. Barrett a very tight ship when he gets here. Therefore, I want you to keep those pirates of yours confined to your island. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Especially that numbskull Parker. Where is he now? Oh, well, he's, he's uh, picking up your jeep, sir, at the motor pool. <laughs> he heard it was ready and he wanted to save you a trip. <laughs> Oh, it's about time he did something for our side for a change. Oh, well, look, Captain, you just give that Mr. Parker a chance, and in a pinch, he'll come through, sir. Morning, Captain. Oh. Watch your brakes. Drag racer with you. Just as soon as Whit Barrett leaves, sir, I'm going to transfer him out of here. Oh, now look here, Captain. Did you say Whit Barrett is coming here? Hey. Yes, I said Whit Barrett is coming here. And I want him to think this is a naval base, not the Indianapolis Speedway. <laughs> That's a good one, sir. Old Whit would have laughed at that one. He's got a great sense of humor. Oh, does he? Well, I don't. Now you button your lip and. How do you know he's got a great sense of humor? Oh, he and I are old hometown buddies. Why, before he made the big time, I used to be his copy boy in the Chagrin Falls Gazette. <laughs> After work, we'd go next door in the bar and have a couple drinks. You and Whit Barrett used to drink together? Uh, well, not exactly. He'd have a bourbon and soda, and I'd have a Shirley Temple. But we always said school. <laughs> Know him then, huh? Oh, yeah, we're old pals. Yeah, well, he used to say I appealed to his sense of humor. Oh, well, uh, Skull, Anson, you appeal to mine, too. I mean, but... <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I do. Well, uh, can I help you out of there, Chuck? <laughs> Don't worry about that. You know, I'd like to have you around here more. Oh, but no, no, that's not possible, sir. The, the transfer, you remember? <laughs> Quint. Don't you know when your old commanding officer's just fooling around? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, Chucky? <laughs> right, Captain. <laughs> you know, uh, Chuck, I think uh, that you're wasting your talents. You know that, boy? Anyone could drive a Jeep through a wall, you know? <laughs> but, but how many men are capable of handling a job like uh, public relations? Public relations? Uh-huh. Just decided. I want you for my public relations officer. <laughs> Gee, did you hear that, Skip? Uh, loud and clear, yes. Uh, well, now, Chuck, uh, hmm, maybe with your influence, uh, 
You could interest uh, Mr. Barrett in doing a story on Captain Binghamton. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't want Barrett to do a column on me. I'm much too modest a man for anything like that. Why, it'd be terribly embarrassing. Well, now, don't you worry, Captain. With my influence, I assure you that Wit won't write a word about you. You do, and I'll let you, I, I mean, uh, if a newspaper man needs copy, uh, who am I to deny it to him? And who are you? You shouldn't do it either. Because if you do, you're going to get the fastest transfer in the history of Teratupa. <laughs> Make myself clear, Chuck? Uh, sure thing, Wally. <laughs> Here we go. Bye-bye, Captain. The keys are in the Jeep. That's murder. Why would anyone want to write about the captain? Yeah, he's about as dull as you can get. Even his name is dull. Wallace Burton Binghamton. I once had a disease with a more colorful name. <laughs> you know, a good nickname would sure help. Look at all the publicity on uh, Bull Halsey and Blood and Guts Patton. Yeah, and uh, what about Mad Dog Yamamoto? Hey, Hey, you sparked me onto something. That's the angle. Yeah, a name, sure. And I got the perfect name for Captain Binghamton. Jolly Wally Binghamton? <laughs> well, now, sir, we gotta make you a colorful character. We gotta build up your public image. But Jolly Wally, that sounds like a candy bar. Get off of my desk. Uh, oh, uh, well, now, sir, it's more than a name. It's an attitude you have to take. Uh, Jolly Wally Binghamton. A man who laughs in the face of adversity. Smiles when the going is roughest. Chuckles where others may cry. <laughs> Uh, you think he'd go for a thing like that? Well, not only Barrett, sir, but, but, but the whole country. Why, it'll be in all the papers. Uh, radio broadcast. Really, sweep the country. Sweep the country? Oh, yeah. Oh, sit on the desk, boy. Uh, all I have to do is laugh and smile and chuckle? Uh, well, yeah. But, well, I know it's going to be kind of hard at first, sir, but you, you just have to practice a little bit. <laughs> sir, could you give me a little laugh now just to see what one it sound like? Ha, uh ha, -huh. ha. Kind of a combination laugh and chuckle, I oh. do. <laughs> well, uh, well, sir, maybe we ought to do the Stanislavski method. Uh, think of something funny, uh, like your wife leaving you. Let's see if you can laugh in the face of adversity. <laughs> Why would you do a thing like that? Just when I get to like you, you do a dumb oh, thing like that. Jolly Wally Binghamton. Hey, oh, how you been? I'm supposed to... <laughs> <laughs> Here we come, Skip the Great Whit Barrett. Hey, Chuck, uh, are you sure he's going to go for this Jolly Wally stuff? I don't know. If this thing backfires... Now, look, Skip, I got the captain all worried, so don't get briefed. What? I mean, I mean, I got the captain briefed, so don't get worried. Oh. Wit, remember me? Not little Chucky Parker. Well, how are you, old boy? Well, well it's uh, Anson Charlie Parker now, uh, <clears throat> base public relations. Oh, Anson, huh? Well, that should add another three years to the war. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean by a sense of humor, Skip. Oh, this is my skipper, Commander McHale. Hi. Oh, hi. Nice right. to meet you. <laughs> well, you're going to love it around here. We got a seal that's a barrel of laughs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, he's a real colorful character. I'm, I'm sure he'll give you a great story. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Take me to your leader. Uh, well, we don't have to, really. He's coming to see you, though. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Go. Uh, oh, Wit, I'd like you to meet our skipper, uh, Jolly Wally Binghamton. <laughs> nice to meet you, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Barrett. <laughs> Carpenter, give my congratulations to the motor pool. They really lined those brakes this time. <laughs> Uh, Captain, you, your hat. <laughs> oh, my $25 hat is ruined. Still <laughs> again. I've been around this war zone about seven months, Captain Binghamton. And, uh... Oh, uh, just call me Jolly. <laughs> sure thing, you're Jolly. As I was saying, I never met anyone quite like you. Well, a man who can laugh in the face of adversity. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, Bert, where's all the guys? I have a face, 
Here he comes now. Let's get him. Laughing boy, now look. Let's make him look good, even if it hurts, right? <laughs> ah, Mr. Barrett, Captain. <laughs> well, sir, I'm uh, sorry about our little visitor up there. Oh, that's all right. Most interesting air raid I ever been through. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was a million laughs. <laughs>, Thank you, Commander. <laughs> well, Mr. Barrett. <laughs> Now I'm going to show you how our boats are combat ready at all times. <laughs> now, right over here, we've... Ah! Oh, stop it! I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> He's a lovable fellow. <laughs> oh, I haven't had so much fun in years. <laughs> Extra beer for everybody. Extra beer. Oh, don't worry about that. Excellent. Man, Dave Steve is here. The captain's pants are on fire. Dave Steve, that again. What the fire's out, Captain. The fire's out. I'm so sorry about that, sir. That's all right. Accidents will happen. And now, Mr. Barrett, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to check into the infirmary. I think I am sick of the green birds. Start your engines! <laughs> hey, how about letting me take command of the boat? I'd like to impress Wit, too, you know. Okay, go ahead, Chuck. Fine boy eyes! <laughs> okay, full speed ahead! <laughs> hey! Kill your engines! You forgot to cast on your mooring lines! <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Remember Jolly Wally? Oh, that's right, Jolly. <laughs> Don't you? Oh, knock it off with that Jolly Wally stuff. It's been almost three weeks but, since uh, that draft dodging correspondent was here. And there hasn't been a word about me in the papers. Well, that's what we came to talk to you about, sir. Uh, the paper just arrived in the mail and it's got your story in it. My story's in that paper? Oh, don't just stand there. Read it to me quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> Sir, uh, sir, a dispatch just arrived for you. Oh, belay that, Carpenter, belay that. Hurry, read it aloud. But, sir, this is very... I'm very an actor. Quiet, listen to this. I want you to know what kind of a man you're serving under. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> a report from a PT base somewhere in the South Pacific. That's our base. I spent a day with a commanding officer known to his men as Jolly Wally Binghamton. I've met a good many COs in my travels through the war zone, but none quite the equal of Jolly Wally. <laughs> My boy, you're going to get a promotion for this. Nice work, Chuck. Thank you, sir. Uh, well, uh, now, uh, in the course of my day with this most extraordinary CO, I watched him pitched out of a jeep on his head and come up laughing. Uh, during an enemy attack, he stood outside of a bomb shelter and laughed as he was strafed by enemy gunfire. I watched him laugh again as he backed into a welder's torch, and later, when the dock was pulled out from under him by one of his own PT boats, he laughed with joy as he almost drowned. <laughs> Boy, that was a good day. <laughs> uh, in my opinion, he, uh, uh, well, it gets uh, pretty dull after that, sir, so I, I won't read any more. What do you mean, dull? What is dull about that? I find it very exciting. Read, read. It's not dull. Give it to me. I'll read it. Dull. You don't even know what to... <clears throat> in my opinion, the lives of our fighting boys 
should not be entrusted to a laughing hyena like this. I think he's been out there too long and he should be investigated. Uh, well, you know what they say in the newspaper game, sir? Even bad publicity is good publicity. That's right, sir, and they spelled your name right, too. No P. Oh, no P! A story like that to ruin me. Why, the Navy Department could send somebody out here to investigate me to find out if I'm mentally competent to command this base. Oh, sir, then you've already read this dispatch. Yes, I <laughs> This what dispatch? Well, oh, this one, sir, from Comfleet to Captain Wallace Binghamton. It says, stand by for examination by fleet psychiatrist at 1700 today to determine your fitness for combat command. Psychiatrist? Well, uh, sir, if you want to forget about my promotion, it's all right with me. Promotion? I can lose my command over this, Parker, and if I do, I want to tell you one of my last acts is going to be to break you down to apprentice seaman and ship you to the Aleutians in your skivvies. No, 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 calm down, Captain. This may not be as bad as it looks, sir. Yeah, now, there still may be a way out of this, I mean, uh, public relation-wise, you know. So now, let's not lose our heads. Don't lose our heads, he says. Don't lose our heads. Well, well, can't you see? He captain's flipped. Well, I just saw the dispatch about the fleet psychiatrist. Well, that's what did it. I can't kill you, flip wing. I'm running out to the order. That man needs something to calm him down. You know, a tranquilizer. Hey, Molly, that's it. Tranquilizers. Go get them, will you, honey? Lots of them. What a war. <laughs> Captain Binghamton? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is it? Who's there? Who? Who is that? It's Commander Turner, Captain. I thought you might like to have some hot milk. I also brought you some tranquilizers. I don't want any tranquilizers for nervous people. Who needs tranquilizers? Well, I'll just leave them for you in case you change your mind. Take two. Sir, I just got a call from the airfield. The psychiatrist plane will be landing in 30 minutes. Are you all right, sir? Of course I'm all right. I wish everybody quit asking me if I'm all right. Get out of here. Besides, the doc will be here any minute. Now, look, Skip, I think we ought to tell him about Radio and Whitbear for that retraction. It might calm him down. Uh, maybe. Boy, I sure hope Molly got him that tranquilizer. Ensign <laughs> Parker, request permission to speak to the commanding officer. Oh, come on. <laughs> Help me get him out of this wastebasket. I hey, wonder who threw him away. <laughs> come on. Captain, Captain, come on, boy. Wake up, wake up. Oh, you're worried about being relaxed. Chuck, they both find his clothes. Go on, I'll lift up him. Captain, Captain, uh, come on, boy. Come on, uh, come on, boy. Uh, come on. Before that psychiatrist gets here, come on, you've got to put yourself together. Uh, come on, Captain. Hey, wake up, Captain. Come on, let's get his shirt on. Come on up, boy. I'll take one arm, you take the other. 
Hey, you don't suppose that pill that Molly gave him could have knocked him out so cold, huh? Oh, no, Skip. You got him in? Put his pants on. There you go. That's you, stupid! On him, that's it. All right, all right, come on. All right, I'll get him some black coffee. Take it easy. Yeah, Captain. What you do with his head? Come on, Captain. Come on, boy. Come on, get this black coffee in you. Boy, if you were any more relaxed, he'd be dead. Who's there? Captain Saunders of the medical corps. Oh, talk about being dead. We are. Hey, stall him. I'll take Bing up to the cell room and, and try to bring him to. Good afternoon, Captain Binghamton. Uh, well, you are Captain Binghamton, aren't you? Uh, 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 Calm now, Captain. That's a very simple question. You can't... <laughs> Captain? Why, yes, yes. <clears throat> well, yes, it is. Yes, it's quite a simple question. Uh, <clears throat> well, 1,700 hours, cocktail time. Uh, what do you say we're down the club and have a couple of drinks? <laughs> you coming? Yeah. Captain Binghamton, I have to be back at the airstrip by 1,800. So if you don't mind, we will proceed at once with this examination. A glass of pop, maybe? Yeah, you know, uh, Captain Binghamton, you, you, you're you very young looking for a man in your position. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, our whole family is kind of young looking. <laughs> Baby faces, yeah. Well, my father didn't shave till he was 35. Uh, neither did my mother. I uh, have a notation here that you were pitched right out of your Jeep, and yet you came up laughing. Do you always laugh when you get hurt? Uh, well, actually, I didn't get hurt. I landed on my head. Ah, Captain Binghamton! I just came by to see how you were doing. Oh, excuse me, sir. My name is Lieutenant Commander McHale. Uh, Captain Saunders. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to continue this examination in private. Oh, well, in that case, I'll leave. Oh, well, then, uh, why don't we all go down to Yossi's club and have a drink? Is yeah. that all you men do on this base, drink? <laughs> Commander, I'm sure you'll excuse us while we continue with this examination. What's going on here? <laughs> Now, who was that? Oh, uh, well, well, that was the ca captain's orderly, sir. A little bit under the weather. Uh, 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 say, you know, that was a pretty good idea, Michaels. I think we ought to all go down to the officer's club and have a little... Oh, drink. what's going on here? What do you men run, a naval base or a cocktail lounge? Uh, 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 that's a good one, Captain. <laughs> oh, hiya, Chucky. They told me you'd be here. When? I got your dispatch at Kalua and flew over. Maybe I, uh, been a little too rough on Captain Binghamton, so I decided to try to write a new story on him. You mean this isn't Captain Binghamton? Of course not. That's Ensign Parker. What's going on here? That's what I'd like to know. And where in the blazes is Captain Binghamton? Let me out of here! Uh, well, look, Captain Saunders, why don't we... <laughs> if you invite me for another drink, I'll flip. Mikhail, stand away from that door, and that's an order! Let me out of here! That was Captain Binghamton. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, see, like I said, sir, he's just as sane as any one of us. <laughs> well, that psychiatrist turned out to be a regular guy after all. According to this dispatch, he passed me with flying colors. Oh, congratulations, sir. I just knew you were normal. Uh, well, sir, I, I think that Edson Parker deserves a good bit of the credit here, too. Credit, credit for what, 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 what? Well, uh, his getting Whit Barrett to write that special story on the psychiatrist certainly didn't hurt. <laughs> mm. Well, I guess as much as I hate to admit it, Parker does have a head on his shoulder. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. You blithering, title brain idiot. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, Captain. You remember you said he had a good head on his shoulders. Yes, and I'm going to remove it. <laughs> It's just not like it never happened before, Captain. <laughs> <laughs>
This is a naval base, not the Indianapolis Speedway. <laughs> That's a good one, sir. Old Wit would have laughed at that one. He's got a great sense of humor. No, oh, does he? Well, I don't. Now, you button your lip and... How do you know he's got a great sense of humor? Oh, he and I are old hometown buddies. Why, before he made the big time, I used to be his copy boy in the Chagrin Falls Gazette. <laughs> After work, we'd go next door in the bar and have a couple drinks. You and Wit Barrett used to drink together? Uh, well, not exactly. He'd have a bourbon and soda, and I'd have a Shirley Temple. But we always said school. Actually, we uh, know him then, huh? Oh, yeah, we're old pals. Yeah, well, he used to say I appealed to his sense of humor. Oh, well, uh, Skull, Ensign, you appeal to mine, too. I mean, but... <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I do. Uh, can I help you out of there, Chuck? <laughs> Don't worry about that. You know, I'd like to have you around here more. Oh, but no, no, that's not possible, sir. The, the transfer, you remember? <laughs> Quint, don't you know when you're old commanding officers just... Fooling around. Oh. <laughs> right, Chucky? <laughs> right, Captain. <laughs> you know, uh, Chuck, I think uh, that you're wasting your talents. You know that, boy? Anyone could drive a Jeep through a wall, you know? <laughs> but, but how many men are capable of handling a job like uh, public relations? Public relations? Uh huh. Just decided. I want you for my public relations officer. Gee, did you hear that, Skip? Uh, loud and clear, yes. Uh, <laughs> Well, now, Chuck, uh, hmm, maybe with your influence, uh, you could interest uh, Mr. Barrett in doing a story on Captain Binghamton. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't want Barrett to... See the old man. Besides, the doc will be here any minute. Now, look, Skip, I think we ought to tell him about Radio and Whitbear for that retraction. It might calm him down. Uh, maybe. Boy, I sure hope Molly got him that tranquilizer. <laughs> 
Ensign Parker requests permission to speak to the commanding officer. Oh, come on. Help me get him out of this wastebasket. Hey, I wonder who threw him away. <laughs> Captain, Captain, come on, boy. Wake up, wake up. Oh, you're worried about being relaxed. Charter, we both find his clothes. Go on, I'm a dump him. Captain, Captain, yeah. come on, boy. Come on, uh, come on, boy. Uh, come on, before that psychiatrist gets here. Come on, you've got to put yourself together. <laughs> come on, Captain. Hey, wake up, Captain. Come on, let's get his shirt on. Come on up, boy. I'll take one arm, you take the other. Hey, you don't suppose that pill that Molly gave him could have knocked him out so cold, huh? I don't know, Skip. You got him in? Put his pants on. There you go. That's you, stupid! On him, that's it. All right, I'll get him some black coffee. Take it easy. Yeah. Hey, y'all, Captain. What'd you do with his head? <laughs> Come on, Captain. Come on, boy. Come on, get this black coffee in you. Boy, if he were any more relaxed, he'd be dead. <laughs> Who's there? Captain Saunders of the medical corps. <laughs> oh, talk about being dead. We are. Hey, stall him. I'll take Bing up to this other room and, and try to bring him to. Good afternoon, Captain Binghamton. Ah, uh, well, <coughs> you are Captain Binghamton, aren't you? Uh, uh, what, uh, Calm now, Captain. That's a very simple question. You can't... Captain. Yeah, he's about as dull as you can get. Even his name is dull. Wallace Burton Binghamton. I once had a disease with a more colorful name. <laughs> you know, a, a good nickname would sure help. Look at all the publicity on uh, Bull Halsey and Blood and Guts Patton. Yeah, and... Uh, what about Mad Dog Yamamoto? Hey, guys! Hey, you sparked me onto something. That's the angle. Yeah. A name, sure. And I got the perfect name for Captain Binghamton. Jolly Wally Binghamton? <laughs> uh, well, now, sir, we gotta make you a colorful character. We gotta build up your public image. But Jolly Wally, that sounds like a candy bar. Get off of my desk. Hmm? Oh, uh, well, now, sir, it's more than a name. It's an attitude you have to take. Uh, Jolly Wally Binghamton. A man who laughs in the face of adversity, smiles when the going is roughest, chuckles where others may cry. Uh, you think he'd go for a thing like that? Well, not only Barrett, sir, but, but, but the whole country. Why, it'll be in all the papers, uh, radio broadcasts. Really, sweep the country. Sweep the country? Oh, yeah. Oh, but, uh, sit on the desk, boy. Sit on the desk. Uh, all I have to do is laugh and smile and chuckle? Oh, uh, yeah. But, well, I know it's going to be kind of hard at first, sir, but you, you just have to practice a little bit. <laughs> sir, could you give me a little laugh now just to see what one it sound like? Uh -huh. It's kind of a combination laugh and chuckle, I oh. do. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, sir, maybe we ought to do the Stanislavski method. Uh, think of something funny, uh, like your wife leaving you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> Uh, let's see if he can laugh in the face of adversity. <laughs> Why would you do a thing like that? Just when I get to like you, you do a dumb uh, thing like that. Jolly Wally Binghamton. Hey, oh, you've been nice, birthday. <laughs> Here he comes, Skip the Great Whit Barrett. Hey, Chuck, uh, are you sure he's gonna go for this Jolly Wally stuff? I don't know, if this thing backfires... Now, look, Skip, I got the captain all worried, so don't get briefed. What? I mean, I mean, I got the captain briefed, so don't get worried. Oh. <laughs> hey, hi, Whit, remember me? Not little Chucky Parker. Well, how are you, old boy? Well, well it's uh, Ensign Charlie Parker now, uh, <clears throat> base public relations. Oh, Ensign, huh? Well, that should add another three years to the war. <laughs> so, I mean, by a sense of humor, Skip. <laughs> oh, this is my skipper, Commander McHale. Hi, oh, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> well, you're going to love it around here. We got a CO that's a barrel of laughs. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, he's a real colorful character. I'm, I'm sure he'll give you a great story. Yeah. Good, <laughs> take me to your leader. Uh, well, we don't have to, really. He's coming to see you, though. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Get his shirt on. Come on up, boy. 
Hey, I'll take one on you, take the other. Hey, you don't suppose that pill that Molly gave him could have knocked him out so cold, huh? I don't know, Skip. You got him in? Put his pants on. There you go. That's you, stupid! On him, that's it. All right, all right, come on. All right, I'll get him some black coffee. Take it easy. Hey, y'all, Captain. What'd you do with his head? Come on, Captain. Come on, boy. Come on, get this black coffee in you. Boy, if you were any more relaxed, he'd be dead. Who's there? Captain Saunders of the medical corps. Oh, talk about being dead. We are. Hey, stall him. I'll take me up there in this other room and try to bring him to. Good afternoon, Captain Binghamton. Uh, well... You are Captain Binghamton, aren't you? Uh, uh, what, uh, Calm now, Captain. That's a very simple question. You care, Captain? Captain? Why, yes, yes. <clears throat> well, yes, it is. Yes, it's quite a simple question. Uh, <clears throat> well, 1,700 hours, cocktail time. Uh, what do you say we get out of the club and have a couple drinks? <laughs> you coming? Yeah. Captain Binghamton, I have to be back at the airstrip by 1,800. So if you don't mind, we will proceed at once with this examination. A glass of pop, maybe? Yeah, you know, uh, Captain Binghamton... You, you, you're very young looking for a man in your position. Well, yes, yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, our whole family is kind of young looking. <laughs> Baby face is young. Well, my father didn't shave till he was 35. Uh, neither did my mother. I uh, have a notation here that you were pitched right out of your Jeep and yet you came up laughing. Do you always laugh when you get hurt? Uh, well, actually, I didn't get hurt. I landed on my head. Ah, oh, Captain Binghamton! I just came by to see how you were doing. Oh, excuse me, sir. My name is Lieutenant Commander McHale. Uh, Captain Saunders. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to continue this examination in private. Oh, well, in that case, I'll leave. Oh, well, then, uh, why don't we go down to the officer's club and have a drink? Is that all you men do in this base? Drink? Commander, I'm sure you'll excuse us while we continue with this examination. What's going on here? <laughs> Now, who was that? Oh, uh, uh, that was the ca captain's orderly, sir. A little bit under the weather. Uh, 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 say, you know, that was a pretty good idea, Michaels. I think we ought to all go down to the officer's club and have a little... Look, oh, what's going on here? What are you men running? A naval base or... I mean, kind of young looking. <laughs> Baby face is young. Well, my father didn't shave till he was 35. Uh, neither did my mother. <laughs> I uh, have a notation here that you were pitched right out of your Jeep, and yet you came up laughing. Do you always laugh when you get hurt? Uh, well, actually, I didn't get hurt. I landed on my head. Ah, oh, Captain Binghamton! I just came by to see how you were doing. Oh, excuse me, sir. My name is Lieutenant Commander McHale. Uh, Captain Saunders. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to continue this examination in private. Oh, well, in that case, I'll leave. Oh, well, then, uh, why don't we open down the officer's club and have a drink? Is that all you men do in this base? Drink? Commander, I'm sure you'll excuse us while we continue with this examination. What's going on here? <laughs> Now, who was that? Oh, uh, uh, that was the ca captain's orderly, sir. A little bit under the weather. Uh, 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 say, you know, that was a pretty good idea, Michaels. I think we ought to all go down to the officer's club and have a little... Oh, what's going on here? What do you men run, a naval base or a cocktail lounge? Uh, 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 that's a good one, Captain. <laughs> oh, hiya, Chucky. They told me you'd be here. Whip. <laughs> I got you dispatch at Kalua and flew over. Maybe i uh, been a little too rough on Captain Binghamton, so I decided to try to write a new story on him. You mean this isn't Captain Binghamton? Of course not. That's Ensign Parker. What's going on here? That's what I'd like to know. And where are the blazes is Captain Binghamton? Let me out of here. Uh, well, look, Captain Saunders, why don't we... <laughs> if you invite me for another drink, I'll flip. Mikhail, stand away from that door, and that's an order. Let me out of here! That was Captain Binghamton. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Well, uh, see, like I said, sir, he's just as sane as any one of us. <laughs> psychiatrist turned out to be a regular guy after all. According to this dispatch, he passed me with flying colors. Oh, congratulations, sir. I just knew you were normal. Uh, well, sir, I, I think that Edson Parker deserves a good bit of the credit here, too. Credit? Credit for why? 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 Well, uh, his getting Whit Barrett to write that special story on the psychiatrist certainly didn't hurt. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess as much as I hate to admit it, Parker does have a head on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Ah, well, now, now, look, Captain, don't be upset. Now, I'll get my crew on it, and we'll have it patched up in no time at all at all. Mikhail, get out of here and take this dim-witted drag racer with you. <laughs> Just as soon as Whit Barrett leaves, sir, I'm going to transfer him out of here. Oh, now, look here, Captain. Did you say Whit Barrett is coming here? Hey. <laughs> Yes, I said Wick Barrett is coming here. And I want him to think this is a naval base, not the Indianapolis Speedway. <laughs> That's a good one, sir. Old Wit would have laughed at that one. He's got a great sense of humor. No, oh, does he? Well, I don't. Now, you button your lip and... How do you know he's got a great sense of humor? Oh, he and I are old hometown buddies. Why, before he made the big time, I used to be his copy boy in the Chagrin Falls Gazette. <laughs> After work, we'd go next door in the bar and have a couple drinks. You and Whit Barrett used to drink together? Uh, well, not exactly. He'd have a bourbon and soda, and I'd have a Shirley Temple. But we always said school. Actually, uh, know him then, huh? Oh, yeah, we're old pals. Yeah, well, he used to say I appealed to his sense of humor. Oh, well, uh, Skull, Ensign, you appeal to mine, too. I mean, but... <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I do. Uh, can I help you out of there, Chuck? <laughs> Don't worry about that. You know, I'd like to have you around here more. Oh, but no, no, that's not possible, sir. The, the transfer, you remember? <laughs> Quint, don't you know when your old commanding officer just... Fooling around. Oh. <laughs> right, Chucky? <laughs> right, Captain. <laughs> you know, uh, Chuck, I think uh, that you're wasting your talents. You know that, boy? Anyone could drive a Jeep through a wall, you know? <laughs> but, but how many men are capable of handling a job like uh, public relations? Public relations? Uh huh. Just decided. I want you for my public relations officer. Gee, did you hear that, Skip? Uh, loud and clear, yes. Uh, <laughs> Well, now, Chuck, uh, hmm, maybe with your influence, uh, you could interest uh, Mr. Barrett in doing a story on Captain Binghamton. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't want Barrett to do a column on me. I'm much too modest a man for anything like that. Why, it'd be terribly embarrassing. Well, now, don't you worry, Captain. With my influence, I assure you that Wit won't write a word about you. You do, and I'll let you, I, I mean, nothing. Uh, if a newspaper man needs copy, uh, who am I to deny it to him? And who are you? You shouldn't do it either. Because if you do, you're going to get the fastest transfer in the history of Teratupa. <laughs> Make myself clear, Chuck? Uh, sure thing, Wally. <laughs> Here we go. Bye-bye, Captain. The keys are in the Jeep. <laughs> oh, that's murder. Why would anyone want to write about the captain? Yeah, he's about as dull as you can get. Even 